presentation. Um, Michelle Post, my name is Gina Coulter. Uh, we did our presentation on printers. It came about, uh, well, we were asked to look into adding a printer on the west side of the building uh, because buyers who sit over here have to walk all the way around to come into the print room right here. So we wanted to look at how much time was being spent in, uh, walking around the building just to pick up little print jobs like one or two pages. Uh, so we um, we did a mini A3, we used a mini A3 and an idea board to work through the problem. Um, so you can see our mini A3 up there. We uh, initially started by pulling 13 staff members over on that side of the building asking how many small print jobs they do per week and how much time they spend every time they get up and come over here. We found that it was um, 170 total print jobs per week. So that's 13 per buyer and um, seven and a half hours were being spent just traveling over here. Um, so we thought, oh, that's kind of a lot. So yeah. we'll go a little bit further. And we learned that, um, that the lease on the copiers was coming to its end. So then we formed a committee on the whole floor to look at what do we really need in terms of our printers. They're getting older, do we need to just swap them out one for one? Do we need to look at um, really using them? We've got big machines in one room that we don't really use that much anymore. So um, so we formed this committee and we got together a couple of times. Um, we had a couple of vendors come in and give us a presentation on what they thought we could do. Um, they were able to look at our usage on all the machines. They brought in a um, small footprint printer that we put over next to the workspace. Uh, we used it for two weeks and then we pulled staff again to see how much they're using it, is it, is it working for what we need, and um, we found that they weren't really using it as much as we thought that they would. During the time that we had this committee board, we also learned that we were going to be possibly bringing in some more staff on the work floor and they're going to be doing a big reconfiguration. So we decided to pause uh, uh, getting any new printers right now until we know what's going to happen with, with our floor configuration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you have any questions? Yes. So you said it um, took about seven and a half hours. Is that per week? Per week. Like for everybody added up, I mean from the buyers? Yes. But didn't you also find out when you were polling people too that people enjoyed just getting up and getting away from their desks? True. And you know, mm -hmm. right? You know, maybe, yeah. You know, yeah. chatting with somebody time. in the kitchen or something. It was just kind of a break, and that walk wasn't that time wasn't that. You know, not that it wasn't important, but it was just kind of just a break. In that. Yeah. Both of our polls, some of the feedback we received was that you know while it was convenient to have an additional printer on the floor that a lot of folks like to get up and they took that time to stretch it. Like some used healthy incentives as a, excuse right. me. Um, <laughs> but it also gave an opportunity to get up and stretch your legs and spend a moment doing something other than just sitting. Yeah. Yeah. So the printers at both ends on this, on this floor, they're in separate rooms, but the test printer that you had was sort of out in the open in your cubicles. Did anybody complain about the noise level or was it a distraction to anybody? It was like a third before we brought the printer over because we used to have printers over there and they were sort of loud. Yeah. But I didn't. I don't think anybody complained about the noise to have a one. printer placed where that demo model was. I might have been the only person to complain because every time I walked by it I would cut that corner short and run into it. <laughs> That's not a noise complaint. <laughs> it's not a noise complaint. It is when you scream out. Yeah. <laughs> we did that a couple of times. Yeah, I don't think the noise was, um, I don't think that actually, they were not very loud. Like it was very loud. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't hear it from where I said. Yeah. yeah. I think it was, it was newer, so the technology was obviously newer than a couple years ago when we had those machines. What was, nice job. <laughs> were they surprised when you asked them um, about, you know, when you were engaging others about the process? Or were they surprised? Or what was their reaction to people when you were sort of doing that research? When we were pulling the staff? I don't know if they were 
a surprise. I think it was more mixed. Um, we had printers once upon when we first moved into this building, and there was a decision made to, as they reached end of life, to phase them out and move to the network copy devices. Um, I think there was a surprise that we seemed to be going backwards in a way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but a willingness to investigate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody was very concerned about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just going to add to it that I was on the copier committee, not on the A3, but on the committee. And there were some people that kind of brought that up that, hey, we're kind of going backwards. And I just said PDCA. You <laughs> <laughs> <I> said what? <laughs> PDCA. <laughs> we made a change and now we're looking at it. Do we want to adjust? Yeah. Might, we might not. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything else? Love the decorations. <laughs> yeah,